Sonic Egg Shadow Generations. I don't, I don't even know how to start this video, man. Sonic X Shadow Generations just dropped not one, but two trailers. And oh my god, am I so excited. Because holy crap, these trailers are just fantastic. And I'm gonna say it here and now, Shadow Generations is already the best Sonic game ever. Screw it. I I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it in the slightest. I already think that Shadow Generations is the best Sonic game ever. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why today. Let's dive into both trailers, what they reveal, and why I think this game will be the best Sonic game of all time. Titled as the story trailer, we are immediately thrown into the peakness of this trailer by showing off Maria and Gerald returning in a game for the first time since Shadow the Hedgehog in 2005, which is just fantastic. I love how they look. I am honestly, I'm just super excited what they're going to bring to the table with their introduction in the game. But oh my god. God, does it get even crazier afterwards. We see more and more of Black Doom's new design. It looks horrific, and I'm so excited for it. Before Shadow gets, essentially gets pulled into the floor by Black Doom's tendrils, before we get to see some classic Shadow the Hedgehog references. When Doom's eye comes up to Shadow and reveals himself, it's very reminiscent of the original Shadow the Hedgehog when Black Doom first reveals himself. And dude, this is so freaking cool. Oh my god. I I love seeing one of my favorite villains in Sonic history again in beautiful 3D. I'm just so, so happy seeing him here. Then we have, you know, Shadow fights against Doom Zion. It's so cool. And a Sunset Heights remix plays that already, I'm sorry. I genuinely think the Sunset Heights remix is the best remix we've gotten out of any of the stages thus far. Even better than the Arc remix, I can't even, even lie. The cinematics look fantastic as Shadow beats the crap out of Black Doom before we're thrown into some more level design of the screwed up world. And Black Doom's animations are just fantastic. I'm just super excited for the screwed up part of the world. And what even more interesting part is this purple part. At first I thought it was Final Haunt and I got really excited because Final Haunt is one of my favorite levels in Shadow history, but I guess unfortunately that's not the case. It's just another warped version of Radical Highway and Westopolis, the one we keep on seeing throughout all the levels. But man, does it look so cool. We get to see another small 3D section of Chaos Island, which looks pretty cool and all. I'm really excited to see how that level turns out. Before we get some more Kingdom Valley footage, finally getting some more look at these screwed up worlds. And they look so cool to play through with, with all the buildings twirling all out of shape, giving me real Multiverse of Madness vibes. We get to see some sections of Sunset Heights next. And man, that level looks fantastic. Before another section of Chaos Island and shoot, this looks so cool. I'm so excited to play Chaos Island in Shadow Generations. It might actually turn out to be my favorite level in the game. Next, we get to see a fantastic animation where Shadow grows his wings and then proceeds to fly and face up with a screwed up version of Black Doom. It's just so freaking cool. I can't stop geeking. But next, and oh my god, I will be screaming this entire part. Mephilus in the dark, bro. Mephilus is back in a Sonic game. The best Sonic villain of all time is back and oh my god i am so excited for it i'm so freaking happy holy crap he looks fan freaking tastic next we get to see some 2d sections of the arc as well as some more 2d sections of sunset heights before we get into a really beautiful cinematic with the death egg robot which we will return to when we get to our second trailer anyway we get some more 2d sections of sunset heights before shadow faces this really really cool black arm alien that we've never seen before he looks fantastic and i'm really excited to see how he actually functions in this game because it seems like sort of a mini boss which i'm really hyped for next we get some more fantastic cinematics of boss before Shadow says some of the most badass lines he's ever said before the time eater appears and starts glitching everything up. We get a classic Sonic Generations, the clock ticking backwards before Shadow wakes up yet again in white space, all confused as if nothing happened. Before he senses it and Maria and Gerald are gonna be present in Shadow Generations. Now, I think the most interesting part about that, apart from, you know, these characters coming back and being alive in Shadow Generations is the fact that they're on a whole separate island. Now, am I gonna be reaching and saying, holy crap, are we gonna be traveling between these massive islands and white space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then again, we do have Doom Surf, which would be an awesome way to travel between island to island. Am I basically describing Super Mario 3D World with Bowser's Fury? Yes, yes I am, but I loved Bowser's Fury. In fact, Bowser's Fury was one of my favorite Mario games and still is. 
And if this game is taking elements from Bowser's Fury, I sure as hell won't complain. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that it is. Overall, I have no freaking words as to how excited I am for this game. Shadow Generations just looks phenomenal, but we aren't done yet because we have a second trailer to go through. One for the PS5, which I just bought to play the game. We first open up with a PS5 controller turning red, and what we get to see is a cinematic of Shadow on the arc before something fantastic, and that is Sonic and Shadow facing off, which means that, yes, we are getting a Sonic rival battle, which I am so freaking hyped for. It just looks fantastic, and the new models bought from Sonic Frontiers are just fantastic to say the absolute least. And of course, we get some clips from regular generations. I don't really care for that. We get a couple of clips from the Shadow trailer we already saw. Nothing too exciting until we see a better version of Sunset Heights. And wow, this level looks beautiful. It looks even better than it did in Forces, and that opening section is just so cool to see. And then this is what I wanted to mention. That same QT we saw before is yet again in-game. Just like the Space Colony arc, Sunset Heights is gonna be an extremely cinematic level. And I'm guessing we're gonna get a bunch of QTEs just like in Space Colony arc, and I'm super excited for this level. Because, for all I know, it might be even better. And then we get some more, you know, show-offs of how the PS5 is going to function with this game. But from that Sunset Heights part that I just mentioned, there actually isn't too much in this other trailer. Pretty much everything else, apart from, again, new Sunset Heights footage, uh, there's nothing much to it. But overall, oh my god, I, I'm just trying to get my thoughts straight. This trailer just looks so freaking fantastic. Both trailers do, in fact. And we're not even done yet. Shadow Generations Dark Beginnings, the three prologue episode trailers, are coming to the YouTube page of Sonic the Hedgehog over the next couple of weeks. And the first episode already drops tomorrow. While it is a short little cinematic, we get so many new things shown off. Some things like Rouge and Omega returning, Shadow catching a rocket, some flashbacks to Shadow the Hedgehog, Hedgehog, the best Sonic game of all time, obviously, some scenes of Black Doom, Shadow fighting with Emerald, and overall, just super exciting stuff. I am definitely going to be making videos when these episodes come out, because they just look fantastic, and oh my god, I'm just super excited for them. And just now, we got an announcement that the special Shadow the Hedgehog skin and level coming in December is in fact based on the Sonic movies. The level is based on Sonic Movie 3, the Shadow skin is from the Sonic Movie 3, and it's being voiced by Keanu Reeves. What timeline are we living in? Why is everything going so good all of a sudden? I don't even know what to say. I, I, I'm just super excited. I have no other emotions but just pure joy. The level design already looks fantastic, and I'm just super hyped. And the fact that they got freaking Keanu Reeves on this is just stupid funny, but I love it. I have never been more excited for a Sonic game once in my life. And the bringing back of Mephilus the Dark, aka the best Sonic villain, aka the best Sonic villain, as well as so many new things, brand new levels, I'm just super excited for it, and I just absolutely cannot wait until the game finally releases over in less than a month now. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching this quick little news video. Stay tuned for yet again that one hour long episode. It is cooking up very slowly. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day wherever you're in the world, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!